Hanime, an art form known for its very interesting, daring, and sometimes extremely concerning concept. It's designed to incite a particular type of feeling in a human being, like horniness, horniness, and even more horniness. Some staples of the genre include amazingly smooth animation, brilliant artwork, and Olympic swimming pool levels of cum. However, out of all of the brilliant animation studios turning amazing dojos into some amazing anime, there is this one studio out there known for fucking up every single goddamn time. Queen Bee Animation. The studio is so bad that out of the 56 shows they have done, only two of them are above seven on my anime list. That is 3.5% of their entire catalog. Bruh. Which is why I decided to pick five Queen Bee animes at complete random and see if they were actually bad or if we were just hating on them for the sake of the memes. So the first anime is this one here, which I don't know how to say the name of. And it was done by Queen Bee and Media Bank. And they've both apparently done one episode each. Although it seems like that Media Bank hired Queen Bee to do their episode and then slap their name on it. Because oh my god, this animation is terrible. It looks like a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. And in certain scenes, it looks like it just just moved the characters up and down and called that animation. And the plot for this doujin is just pretty mid. It has a little thing like it's called Magical Cock Syndrome. Which is basically when, when the guy's German tank silencer is simply just so good that the woman becomes addicted to it like if they were addicted to crack or something but for bonking this guy's USB stick. Episode 2 of this anime was done by Queen Bee and somehow it was even more fucking worse than the first one. The plot for this one is this guy pays his childhood best friend for some intimacy and yeah that's literally it. The voice acting for this one was good until the bonking happened. Then once the bonking happened, they started using a fucking repeat audio track thingy magic and it just sounded off-putting. And somehow, the animation was even worse. Like, there is one scene where the guy looks up at the main girl and it just looks wrong. It doesn't look like the guy went like this. It looks like he went like this and then like that. He faded into it. And then during the USB stick insertion scene, the guy is moving at like 5 frames a second and then the girl is just not even moving at all. Overall, 2 out of 10 needs to get a better frame rate. So next up on the list is Sweet and Hot and I like the story about this one because it is actually kind of funny because the guy apparently stinks so bad that it turns on all the girls. It's like this guy, he bought a bunch of pheromone cologne, started spraying it on before class like this guy. And this one gets a brownie point because it has a tomboy in it, but otherwise, the animation was crap. But the voice acting was pretty decent. There's a scene in this one where the girl gets angry, and for some reason, it just looks like that she isn't angry, but also is angry at the same time. That one looked a little bit weird, and also, most of the animation, this one can just be described as just janky at best. And also, her tongue movement in it is pretty bad. Overall, I kind of like the artwork for this one, and it's get a, it gets a brownie point for having a tomboy in it. But it's a 1.75 out of 10. Cologne guy. Right, Harem Cult. Now this one is just the Avengers Assemble of sexual assault. Like, there is literally a scene where the guy walks into a room and there is this girl just chained up on the sofa. And it's like, oh, that's pretty normal. And then another girl walks in, they just start having a conversation, completely ignoring the fact there is a girl literally chained up. Also in this scene, how the hell is she holding her phone? And now this one, the animation was just straight up just terrible. The twitching was just bad. The hair movement looked like they're just completely wrong. It looks like one of those adverts for those anime games that you get while watching anime. And in some scenes, it looks like it was going at 10 FPS when the industry standard is probably like 24 to 30. And it looks like all the animation went towards the x-ray scenes and the tongue scenes. And that is literally it. They spent all their animation budget on that. And then finally, there is a scene where the main character is getting endurance tested by one of the girls. Overall, it's a 1.1 out of 10 and I use this one for endurance testing. Muramata-san no Himitsu. Now, if you guys remember X-Men Origins Deadpool, this is basically the equivalent to that in anime form. Because the main selling point of this anime was the split tongue of the female character, and they animated the tongue movements horribly. I don't even get how some of this actually passes animation quality control. It's just that bad. It just looks like overly animated manga panels. Like, if you guys remember the Way of the House Husband anime, that, although it was different to what most people like in the West, it was still pretty decent as an anime, but like, this just falls off. And also the music sounds like generic x-ray movie things from like, music from like the early 2000s. I think overall, 
This anime was just like a 1.1 1 .1 out of 10. Hi, Billy Mays here for the. This anime is called Kiss Hug, and it is literally the lesson in marketing in order how to sell your product the best way possible. Especially if it's performance enhancing drugs of the anime variety. You give the client a sample of it, and it gives them some of the action that goes along with it, and they have booby secured the sale. There is two parts to the first episode, if there is more than one episode, but like, I watched just part one, and that's all I needed for it to be sold in this anime. It was brilliant. The plot was just perfect. This is also like one of the first animes I ever watched with a realizing it was Queen Bee, but this was just too good to, it was just too funny. But I do not care about the bad animation or anything else. This was too funny. It's definitely a 4.75 out of 10. The plot basically carried this one for me. Hey there guys, since you made it this far into the video, I just want to let you know that currently 95% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So please subscribe this year to finally reach 1,000 subscribers and we're getting close to it. So subscribe, please. And once we reach 1,000 subscribers, I will literally review can jokes, can jokes, can jokes. Anyways, back to this godforsaken video. Guys, hand of my heart and dick in my hand. This is some of the worst fucking hands I've ever watched in my life. Like, have you ever gone to the fridge and then you've seen some food in there, but it's like not the food that you want to eat? So you close the fridge, you go back to playing games and you come back again. You open the fridge again and there's still some food that you don't like, so you end up just blowing up the fridge. Guys, 600,000 people a year are killed by watching terrible hentai like this. Gamers, we need to rise up. We need to stop Queen Bee from ruining more of our favorite doujins. Like, I wa I read one the other day. What's the name of it? Um, Army Senpai no Latori. And I love it, but I don't want Queen Bee to animate it. I want, like, Bunny Walker or Pink Pineapple or literally anybody else to animate it. So gamers, Kumas, Brawl 34 artists, we all need to rise up and start, like, a revolution. And I don't mean by, like, posting a thing on Twitter saying, OMG, stop Queen Bee. No, I'm for, we need to go to that serious shit. We need to all need to fly to Japan or wherever the hell Queen Bee is located. Go outside the thing, put up a sign saying, stop making trash hentai. And also, probably, we should probably stop watching them as, like, a boycott thing. But, like, guys, we need to rise up. This is, this is my plan. This is my formal designation of war on Queen Bee. We need to rise up, gamers. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I've spent... My mental trauma is too high from watching trash animation. So, uh, please definitely check out this playlist here of all of the other anime videos that I've made. Also, just want to shout out Rage, uh, Jake Jones, and Adichies for all of helping me out with this video behind the scenes. Rage for the fucking thumbnails, and Jake for also one of the thumbnails. So please, subscribe to all of them here, and also check out this other video here, which is random. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.